So recently, a lot of friends asked me when will I do trigonometries, and now, today, we are going to talk about some basic contracts on trigonometries. And I believe that you have been wondering, what is the three buttons on the calculator? Uh, S I N, C O S, and T A N. Now let me write down the full name first. It is sine, cosine, and tangent. And I will only talk about the basic concept of it. Uh, consider we have a right angle triangle. Let's lamp this uh, angle, this line A, this line B, and the hypotenuse C. And we also have a theta. Now, what is if we sign theta? It is just equal to a over c. Why? You remember, sine theta is the line opposite to the angle, opposite side, divided by the longest side of the triangle, longest. And then cosine theta is similar. It is B over C. Just remember that the adjacent side of the angle over the longest side. And lastly, tangent theta is equals to A over B. Now, how can we remember this? You just remember tangent theta is actually equal to sine theta over cosine theta. Now, this relation is very useful in later. So, how can we use trigonometries to find out uh, some side, some length of a side? Now consider we have a right angle triangle, and we also have an angle, 30 degrees. And then this is A, this is B, and this is C. Now given that, C is equal to 8. How can we find A and B? Now, trigonometry is so useful. Remember that if we want to find A, we will use sine. So we have an equation saying that sine theta is equal to A divided by C. Now, theta is just 30 degree, so it will be sine 30 degree is equal to A over C is 8, isn't it? So, we take out our calculator and input sine 30 degrees, it is 0 0.5. And then we move this 8 to here. We multiply it by 8 so that we can tell that A is actually 4. What about B? How can we find out B? Now you can use cosine theta, which actually equals to B over C. So cosine theta equals to b over c and then theta is just 30 degrees and b is the unknown and c is 8 so again we move the 8 here and we input 8 cosine 30 degrees now it should be a ugly number it is normal so we take the three significant place and we get B is approximately equals to 6.93, isn't it? So 
I will use the Pythagoras theorem to prove it. Now A is 4. B is approximately 6.93 and C is 8. If it is true, then square root of 6, 4 square plus 6.93 squared should be almost equal to 8. Now let's see the result. Yes, it is very close to 8. So this means this set of results is right. And that is the end of today's video. Remember this. Sine theta is A over C. Cosine theta is B over C. And tangent theta is A over B. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.